come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether mm. you're ready for it or not, because we're still many years in now on that quest to take over the world. How are we doing with that? I don't know. You you could be ready for it. You're just going to look for the signs. Yeah. There's a whole Rube Goldberg oh, thing oh, that oh, happens oh. before this yeah, episode yeah. comes out. Colin, Everyone's you... just asleep at midnight so they don't see it. <laughs> yeah. But a whole thing falls off your wall on your shelf and pushes the download button on your phone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We That's have to make it much more complicated yes. than it needs to be. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Much more. Yeah. Uh, these people who are talking mm. to you are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela. <laughs> uh, what was our destination tonight? The second final destination. The second final, final destination. Final destination two. I, I always have to just wipe a little tear away from my eye and be proud in these moments where we bring in movies where we haven't watched the first one and we're yeah. going straight for the sequel. Oh, <laughs> we, Makes me proud. Well, we did Final one, Destination 3 we already. We did Final yeah. Destination 3. Uh, the first one's too good to be on the freak show. Right. And the other four have plenty to talk about. I'm so, sure. Um, like, the more yeah. we keep, I keep getting forced to watch these, I'm like, all right, I kind of want to see what the it's, fourth one does. Final Destination 5 is one of my favorites. Yeah, final, five the is, Final Destination. Yeah. No, that's no. four. Right. No, there, there's a five. The, the Final Destination is four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then final edition five is five. Even yeah. before we get into who did yeah. so okay, lay it out for me. Uh-huh. One is the plane. This is the plane, yep, with Two Devin Sawa is, is this the one logging truck tonight. and the pile up. Two yep. is the one that every millennial will tell yes. you. Yes. What is the beginning Traumatize of Traumatized a generation. Judge okay. generation. Yeah. Three. Um is the roller coaster yes. carnival, which we did on the show, March twenty twenty. You can go back and listen. Yep. Four. Um, the r- race car NASCAR? track, NASCAR. Okay. Yep, and a, like a car hood cuts someone in half. All the pieces go into the stands. And five a is a bridge collapse, okay. a suspension bridge collapse. So there's lots of snapping cables yeah, and cool yeah, shit. Yeah. You're right. And um, What's four and five were in 3D. Yes, but not of three. Course. <laughs> of right, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes. no, the the boom of 3D yes. was really just like everything got to be. In yeah. The- yeah, yeah, five be has some of my favorite yeah. sequences. Even I the, think. The, yeah. the title sequence of five. Yeah, I remember five got what's her name in it, doesn't it? Um. Uh, three names. Uh, what? I don't Mary remember. Elizabeth Winston. No, that's yeah, number yeah, three. Yeah. That's number three that we did on the <laughs> yeah, show has Mary three. Elizabeth. Oh, was it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm all off on the lore mm-hmm. of the Final mm-hmm. Destination. Yeah, because this is what I'm saying. Tony Todd play a bigger role later. Yeah, on? yeah pretty in much. The fifth one. Okay. Yeah. I remember in the fifth one he comes. Is he in all of them? He's in all of them. He's in all of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. As far as I, I think, I think ooh, I, there maybe not be, four. I think there's one he's not okay. in. You may hear the uh, of it, him. No, it's the thir- uh, the third. No, he's in it. Doesn't he have a voice cameo in the third one? But I, you don't actually see him. I think you that, hear his one voiceover. Of them is that. I think that's the third one. Okay, yeah. but he is go listen to our episode. He's we the about coroner it. in five. Yes, but he's a mortician in one and two, and possibly the. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> explain what the hell we're talking about. Yes. First of all, what year did Final Destination two come out? Two thousand three. And it was directed by. Um, hold on, I have his name. This is David different. Ellis. <laughs> David, David Ellis. R. Ellis, yes. Okay, which this is where it's going to get interesting. Okay. Uh, David R. Ellis' first movie was Homeward Bound two. Yep. Then he goes to Freak Show favorite Cellular. I like that oh, movie. Okay. It just got brought up like two weeks it ago. Really yeah. did. Um, and Final Destination two was right before Cellular, mm-hmm. and then after that, Snakes on a Plane. Oh, you the snakes on a plane guy. And the final destination, which is the fourth one, oh. and arguably worst one, I would say. Oh, okay. um, and then Shark Knight 3D. You remember that movie yes. that came out? That yeah. was his last yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh. Um, but we're really burying the lead here. The writers of this movie. Eric Bress and J. Mac Gruber. Do they sound have, familiar? Because they watched, them. they wrote and directed the butterfly effect. Mm. Oh, really? Yes. Did you not? <laughs> yeah. So I was making the butterfly effect yeah. jokes during No, yes. I yeah. did not catch yes. that at all. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I said a- on our butterfly effect, I mean, Sean, Sean, I think you thought this was a Final Destination movie because uh, they do feel very okay. similar. They could, you could play them back to back. Wait, yeah. wait. So this was 2002. Well, your butterfly effect it was, was two, oh, five. Uh, what was so, it? Oh, that's a good. So that is yeah. like the final destination. Four, guys guys four. Four. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. Let's see. Okay, because when we were watching, we just did this. Movie. We, yeah. we did, and then we all just went. No more trauma. We yeah. forgot it. We forgot our trauma. Yeah. So that okay. Well, I guess that places it as like they got hired because it was maybe that maybe two thousand four. So a year after this. So it was so butterfly effect like streak. a discarded 
idea for a Final Destination movie? It feels movie? like it. Wasn't it also a New Line Cinema movie? Yes. yes. Which is why okay. we should, but, Wow, we, we are, time is a flat circle. We did, just did the same episode twice, basically. Yeah. Because <laughs> wow. Colin, that was, when we watched Butterfly Effect, you said, when was the last time you saw a New Line Cinema movie? And then tonight you said, when was the last time you saw a New Line well, Cinema Well, yeah, I meant like in, but, yeah. in theater. That's right. a sign and one of us is going to die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, so wait, was the Butterfly Effect episode just a premonition of this episode? I guess so. Oh, it was, that's, that's, it was the premonition of the baby who was born in this movie. <laughs> Wait, is the baby that was born Wait in this movie the second. baby that oh, blows up the, with the mailbox? Oh, and there we go. We'll effect. say that. We'll say there that. was a baby in this movie that was uh, had having a, trouble. Uh, yeah. yeah, the this is why I made the jokes. Guys. Was They're wrapped connected. around its. <laughs> 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 they bro. really like going back to that well. Yeah. yeah, I would say let's watch other things, but they haven't written too much. <laughs> no. So I'm like, but if there's a baby strangling itself in every single thing they do, <laughs> yeah, that's their Bravo calling card. Yeah, yeah, they got, they so. got a thing. Mm -hmm. That's uh, their their nuclear apocalypse, like uh, James Cameron. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so um, two. The, oh, the final sequel. The, the final destination, we're all in agreement, even though we're not watching it on this show, but we are oh. in agreement that that one we all enjoyed. It's, Final it's Destination. It's a great movie, yeah. The first Absolutely. one. The first one because it great kind movie. of, I think all of a sudden, it was like, uh, it's not a overly horror complicated. Movie. Well, the, the deaths are, mm -hmm. right? But it's a horror movie without like, a, I guess it does, it has like a spectral antagonist, but is the, who is never represented. There's no monster or slasher. It's a slasher yes, movie right. without a slasher in it, yeah, you know? Right. Like, it's like death itself, mm -hmm. a force of nature, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Is, but there's no like physical form or anything. It's just that's what I like yeah, about yeah. it. Right. Yeah. I think yeah. Maybe a shadow, yeah. and a breeze, and death is right there. Yeah, but you never see anything. It never talks. I guess in the first one, I think the impression that I had maybe was that Tony Todd was like an earthly um, mm -hmm. uh, personification yeah. of death, mm -hmm. um, just because he knows too much. Right. You know? right. I mean, he knows things that no normal quote unquote human would know. He yeah. Has, and I like this. some access to the other side. And for Tony Todd, I, I like this, Love that it. like he had, you know, Candyman famously, he is one of the eighties and nineties, uh, Mount mm -hmm. Rushmore pantheon of horror movie monsters. Yep. But like, you don't really, I mean, I guess I don't hold the coroner or the mortician in as high regard, but it's cool. Right. That right. He has this series of other movies where, uh, he's also a horror uh, a mainstay through mm -hmm. for, through those, um, so and he's Venom now. He was the voice. Of what Venom in the Spider Man? Was he really Spider Man Two, the video game? He's Venom. Oh, that's oh, okay. cool. Yep, that makes oh, sense. Yeah, that makes like sense. Like if anyone's, he was in. Uh, I mean, he's been in tons, but yeah. Hellfest that came mm -hmm. out not so mm -hmm. long ago. He's one of the. He's it's like, like a carnival barker in that. He's not. Yeah. In, he's not in it very long, but he's the big star. I think mm -hmm. in uh, you know it was he, like he's, in he's Tony a bona fide Todd. to get he's for like, your movie. Yeah, yeah, if you get him or Robert England, right, you're basically kind of saying then you're doing much better than getting um Malcolm McDowell. Right, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, when yeah. you hit a level. You're just like, okay, we couldn't afford Tony Todd, or yeah. like, we'll get Malcolm McDowell. Um, so there are levels to this. Mm -hmm. Where where are you sitting in the convention circuit? Mm -hmm. I feel like Keith David's on that same level too. He's you there, get yeah. him in your movie, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, and Keith okay. David, yeah. It's been a while mm -hmm. since I've seen him, and wasn't he the voice of TNT for the longest time? I think so. He did all the promos. He's been in TV a lot lately. I've seen well, him popping up Keith on TV. Keith David, we talking? Yeah. About? Yeah, but that was probably a he, decade oh, ago at least. So but, much voiceover work, especially mm -hmm. on like maybe attack videos. Like, but then he waited, mm -hmm. and the shark came. Like he's like he does a lot of voiceover <laughs> work. You hear him, and you're just like, ah, yeah, I know him. Um, Rube Goldberg, you talked Rube about. Goldberg, I think we yes. talked about him a little bit, mm -hmm. but I mean, there is kind of a debt. I think that these movies owe to at least an idea. He popularized, I suppose, the idea of the Rube Goldberg machine. I guess that's what they were called, right? right. He was a right. cartoonist in the twenties or this something like thing. that. I don't know anything about him. Like, okay, I I'll think that's that. it. I don't mm -hmm. think he built these machines so how i did think he get associated with them I because he, he was a cartoonist uh i don't remember which paper for mm -hmm. but like he would draw 
you know, some elaborate this contraption. Happens, this happens, mm-hmm. this yeah, happens. it's an overly complicated way of pulling off a simple, uh, <laughs> right. you know, outcome, yes. right? I mean, like the game you, Mousetrap. Yes. Right, or if you've ever, like, go to Instagram and look at Reels, mm-hmm. eventually you'll get to a video where it's a Rube Goldberg machine of some sort. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because that's what, you know, people trying to get internet fame. It used to be uh, stacking uh, VHS, VHS tapes. tapes. That was the original, yes. And a domino, <laughs> and it has gone up from there. Yes. You see a bunch of them. They animate them now, too. It's all out there, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've seen those, um, and this is probably years ago, right? But I was transfixed by uh, OK Go, the band. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Had those so yes. popular for doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, oh, my God. Yep. Mm-hmm. Come up with, yeah. So fun. Mm-hmm. But in this uh, series of movies, then it it's like death. He uses yeah. some kind of uh, elaborate. You can't cheat death twice, according to the tagline oh, of this movie. So no matter what happens, death will find a way, even if it's insanely complicated, to, yeah. to yeah. get It'll you. circle yeah. back somehow. Yeah. But I like that. It's the yes. idea that it is you kind of using the room, mm-hmm. you know, to right. maneuver right. you into the exact right spot where some kind of random thing that you couldn't possibly see causing your death mm-hmm. ends up being right. the cause of your death. Right. And it makes you kind of feel like if you went back and investigated... Like just random deaths you hear in the news or something like that. Like if you went back, you could find a clue that leads mm-hmm. to the mm-hmm. Goldberg machine that killed that person. Mm-hmm. That's what I always think of. I'm just like, well, every random death I think of now, I'm going to think like, oh, what started this? And how long did that <laughs> machine take before they yeah, died? Well, mm-hmm. yeah. I it's mean, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that that's kind of what life is. And you have that <laughs> butterfly effect where, you know, something. Okay. So wah, wah, wah. Um, this movie, right? Is this, because I think you mentioned it, is this the Final Destination movie that is the most talked about, the most high regarded, the most seen? Yes. Because of it's uh, everyone has driven down a highway before. Yes. Right. And there are, again, go online and you see a picture of a truck carrying logs. Yes. And all the comments. Go to the comments. Yeah. It's like, not nope. not today, Satan. <laughs> yeah. Like, all. I saw everyone, Final Destination. Yep, yeah. Everyone knows. Yeah. It's like, nope, mm-hmm. that's going to kill you. Mm-hmm. It is the seared into is, the consciousness. Even when I saw the trailer for this movie, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember a movie from the 1990s. And it was called Body Parts. Okay, anybody? No, Jeff Fahey, where he gets the arms. Yes, yeah. but do you remember? Have you ever seen that movie? Uh, no. There's Maybe a scene, the way it, no. the reason it how he gets the body parts is because he's like driving along on the highway, and the car up ahead of him has like the you know he sees the uh, wobbly tire, uh-huh. and it causes this. And uh-huh. that always to uh-huh. me was like right. you know after you see that you're like shit. And that's why I'm like, did these guys see always body probably. parts, or always you know, possible. it was like we could do a much bigger version. Yeah, what if of the that? movie was that? Yeah, the, the genius thing, yeah, that. about picking the like a car pile up is like driving is the most dangerous thing we do every day. This is the most realistic and, horror. And like, you like, said, like everyone fucking drives, right? Yeah, like, and like, like I can avoid a NASCAR wreck real easy. Sure, just don't go see NASCAR. <laughs> but, you know, I'll, and I won't get on that. Yeah, wheel. exactly. Yeah, those are easy to avoid, and you know, and you, you can avoid flying. If yeah, you really need to. Right, but yeah, man, you but can't avoid the on, highway. Drive down yeah. the highway. Yep. Yeah, we have to get somewhere. You're not going to take a horse and buggy. And I mean, even well, there, for, there was, you, wait, there was you a, get stomped you, to death you, by you the... I was going to say, in number three, you remember, there's a horse that <laughs> you causes the whole final, fucking there thing. There is. Yeah. You're very much yeah. right. But you wait till Final Destination Bloodlines, <laughs> and then they will bring in the horse. By the way, we are making a new Final Destination movie. Oh, happy day. Yes. With these subtitled Bloodlines. Yes. Oh, you blow your brains yes. out enough already. Yeah. Happy but day. They, they even, the filmmakers <laughs> commented on it as well. It was just like, it was always the title. We know that it's the title <laughs> for every directed video. They know. Yeah. Mm. So they might change it. They really I like it. They really they should, it, but they should. Oh change it. no! But you know what that could mean because it just occurs to me Somebody's that uh, no, Tony Todd's character is Mister Bloodworth. Blood, blood, Bloodworth. Yeah, Bloodworth lines. Yeah. Is that where they're going? Uh, no, I think know. they should treat the Final Destination movies like the Predator movies. Set it at any time, any setting, whatever. It's just got to be death coming after people. Yeah, right? but that would be more interesting. Yeah, I think. But that is one of the, I guess, criticisms that I would have about this movie. Mm-hmm. Which I think after this one, they kind of were able to get away from it. But this movie is really related to the first one so yes. much. Like, yeah, the way A they lot. treat it is, you know. But it's almost like they're treating it like the first one was a huge success, mm. and 
people heard of Final Destination, mm -hmm. and now there's like a whole bunch of people in the audience who somehow heard about the first movie but didn't see it. Yeah. And so we have to yeah. fucking re-explain yeah. from the ground up how all of this is connected <laughs> to the first movie, mm -hmm. to this Flight 180. But but speaking in a way that would only make sense to people who saw the first movie? Exactly, yeah. It doesn't... Does it, though? Because they, they... I think that's they, the only way you can understand some of this stuff. They having explain the it all movie. to you. Like, they are telling you all the way through, yeah. this kid survived. He I had mean, they, these the, dreams. The whole movie, this first is, movie, uh, the whole beginning of this movie is a guy sitting down on TV basically explaining yes, everything in, in like a like a one-on-one -on -one interview style right. like newscast explaining like how death is a right. specter that comes for people for the people stuff. who yeah. are just like let's go see a scary movie yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. we it was like okay we got to catch you up this is mm -hmm. final destination too but it is yeah uh uh hilariously <laughs> um talking down to the audience i yes. think yeah. like in that initial like the death has a has a design, and if right. you def if you if you somehow interfere with death's design, then death will eventually come and yeah. get you. Anyway, there's but, no vagueness to it. It, right. is, it is directly exactly the movie. So our central characters are well, yeah. I mean, I guess there's like 15 people or something like that. Is there 10? You're gonna so the the, the movie yep. is gonna be. Like the, I mean, this is the the format of a Final Destination movie, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Especially in the second one where they're just like it wasn't broken the first one. Let's let's go just do, yeah. do it again. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Except they had in this one a better uh, um, chain reaction um, opening inciting incident. Than the, yeah. than the plane. I don't yeah. know if I'd say better. Maybe equal This to, one's pretty it's good. over the top. It's pretty co complex. It's, it, like, it's definitely more over the top. Yeah. 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 Definitely more intricate. Definitely has done a lot more to the to the machine. But then a character will have a premonition. Mm -hmm. uh, that character will interfere with uh, death's plan. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, people will survive the catastrophe, and then they will all end up dying in horribly gory ways. Uh, throughout the rest of the movie while the surviving cast work mm -hmm. to try and figure out how do we stop it which I Colin, always kind of love you just pitched to a studio exactly yes. <laughs> that was it right love there it. did you know I think we talked about it on Final Destination 3 you know about yeah. this mm -hmm. uh, the, the origin of where Final Destination came from no Oh, oh, that it was an X Files episode, right? Yep, yes. I do remember that, which makes total sense. <laughs> like you could see this being a, a really good X Files episode. Yeah, I think. yeah, it would be they a would really good some, one. Like they would dig into it a little bit. Yeah, Ooh, it would be good. They would get into the death side of it a bit more. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, because yeah. the writers, it was um, Glenn Morgan and James Wong, mm -hmm. right? Where mm -hmm. they were X Files uh, like staff writers, mm -hmm. right? And then they had this idea. It didn't work for mm -hmm. the show. And then that's how it was for Final Destination came from. Who, uh, yeah, who who are we going into this movie with? We've got A.J. Cook. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, She's I'm, become, like, famous since, right? I've always... Uh, or over, I've, on I've, TV. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I've always known her just because she showed up in um, uh, in this movie. She showed up in... What is the skiing movie? Um, fuck. With... Uh, it's got, like, Zach... Ski Patrol. No. Uh uh, I'm going to look her up because that... she was in something else. Out Cold? Out that Cold, that's it. I have it. not seen she that. Was, oh, yeah. yeah, that was the big one, Out yeah. Cold, the big uh, ski comedy, yeah. you know, back when they were doing Road Trip and all those other movies. Yeah. It was kind of in that vein, um, which is uh, uh, her going from blonde to brunette was a big thing. Mm. Just gotcha. I knew What's who she the was CBS show that she's on, though? Is it like Criminal Minds? She was, oh, yeah, Criminal Minds. Yeah, yeah, she's on Criminal Minds. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. She was on that yep. for a long time. Okay. Uh, she's Kimberly Corman, and this is one of the many of string uh, of like Corman. horror movie reference named characters. Right. They've been on the first on movie, too. Yeah. From the first one, mm -hmm. Val Luton and a bunch of other ones. Mm -hmm. Billy Hitchcock, what have you. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's some carpet. Officer Shrek. Like Max Shrek. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. <laughs> that always cracked me up so because they, they say that, it out loud, Officer Shrek. Even yeah. though it's different writers, yeah. it's still yes. that's part of being a Final Destination yeah. movie. That's actually kind of you know that 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 uh, synopsis that I just laid out is basically a template for I would say four of the five. Yes. But the fifth one is different. Yeah, which I think kind of it's a spoiler it, to yeah, say yeah, how yeah. it's different, uh, but yeah, it's yeah. different. Yeah. 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 Um. So AJ Cook and her friends mm -hmm. are uh, part. She's the one. Okay, so she has the vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, before getting on they're the driving highway. Driving to Daytona. Mm -hmm. oh, do you think they're driving to the NASCAR race that happens in the fourth movie? <laughs> yes. The Daytona um, uh, 500. There's nothing that says they yep. aren't. So I'm gonna say yep. yes. <laughs> Could Did be. the fourth mm -hmm. movie not come back around and comment on that? 
Same weekend as that the big fourth crash movie on the felt so different than the rest of them. The fourth they're movie, unrelated ugh. at that point. But I like yeah. that because the like, why do these characters like everybody in this movie knows they're being told and it's always being reinforced to us. Like that's literally, I think the only thing that people have to talk to each other about as yes. characters in this movie are talking about the mythology right. of the movie. Yes. And they have to expand the mythology at some point. Or just randomly when the when they come up with the idea to like what did they say like sealing the seam or something like there was sealing the rift. There was yeah, a rift in something that needs to be sealed. A rift in death design. Yeah, but that didn't. We didn't know about this rift until she said we're going to seal it and, by yeah, doing and, but, this. But they also have the power of like as soon as they speak it out loud, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like that is. There's no question about it. If they no. say it out loud, that is what's happening. Yeah. Yep. That's how the writers are uh, just dumping exposition yep. at us. Um, the um, I think there was like maybe we're going to do it backwards this time. The, the, right. lit, yeah, the little, way little. that people died, we're going to do it backwards. I wasn't entirely clear on the it, why. That, see, this is my one uh, a problem with the movie. I think is that in the first one there was at least, they had diagrams and shit. Mm-hmm. Like even like accidentally the. Um, they knew the path of the blast. At least you knew yeah, by the seating chart. The, mm-hmm. Right, yeah, the yeah. movie told you who was going to go, mm-hmm. and it yep. even showed you. In this, I have no idea. Right. No, because I don't, I don't who, remember I don't the at. sequence of right. how right. everybody wrecked right. to and, go. Like it was this even, person first. Even just watching the 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 plane in the first one, I would have no idea who died first and what have you. Because mm-hmm. the movie tells you, and I think a very good way. Yeah. This one doesn't. Yeah, yeah. seat numbers is a good idea. That's yeah. smart. Yeah, that's smart. Right. They were sitting up front, and the blast came in for right. This one is just like it could be anyone mm-hmm. and they mention it like oh he, she's going for it. like it's confusing who you're supposed to be like kind of looking out for right no. right all right i have a philosophical question Ooh, i guess with this it. movie that i maybe maybe it was in the first movie that i can't uh, quite understand so death mm-hmm. right yeah. is um has uh so time just kind of sits there right mm-hmm. and uh, everything's been predetermined somehow uh some person is able to interfere with a predetermined thing. And mm-hmm. then it's not even like death is a, a personified thing going in there. It's just like a force trying to get everything back mm-hmm. in, in, on the rails. Mm. So who, how do the premonitions like that implies then that there's a counter force, right? Yeah. This uh, is never explored. In never. Uh, this is like, this why is, would someone yeah. have a premonition? Yeah. That's, that's, why them? That's, why do they yeah. get chosen? Right. Why yeah. Is yeah. That, if it yeah. is on, like you say, like predetermined and we're on a track for these people to die. Who's right. given, who's showing that? Who's interfering? Yeah. Wait until uh, yeah. final destination bloodlines. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, all, gonna, right. No. all right. All right. All right. <laughs> now you no. sold me. No, I am I am the opposite of soul. Just because it's called but like, even what if they even just did like a like an anthology and it was just a bunch of little shorts like even just like you know one room guy final destinationing to you know what I'm saying like just make uh, jump around and do a bunch of in, not connected shorts it could I work mean, could, there's, yeah. there's, there's a lot like the animatrix yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. Can do <laughs> sure not the best just example like but sure right. I was thinking more like a creep show thing uh, you know okay, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they yeah. could do so much yeah. with this I think I even yeah. like the idea of like uh, old west final destination yeah exactly but, but how why many not you die yeah <laughs> like yeah. there's a million ways to die in the world uh, yeah exactly god damn it alright feudal Japan final destination there we go. You run into yes. the Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Uh, there. I was kind of disappointed that this one didn't use more of the Demon Wind. And yeah. And yeah. it was also like, I was like, how come they didn't just call this movie The Death List? You know? Because Final is a cooler. great pun. It's yeah. so good. Oh, that, yeah, Especially because you see, the, the, you see the, the plane screen in the first one say, now arriving to your final destination. Well, so it that's works. why it's, it, yeah. works for a plane. it works for a plane yeah. movie. Yeah. Right, um, right. But it's, it's like, okay, yeah, we, we all know it. that we're going to our final <laughs> destination. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, so the initial wreck is horrifying. Yes. Chain comes off a log truck, logs bounce and smash faces, but they also fuck up the other cars. A lot happens. Uh, like is. I can't keep track of it all because the motorcycle gets pinned. The, the the cop, a log goes through his windshield yep. and right through him and out the other side. Mm-hmm. Nice and bloody on the other mm-hmm. end of that. That's good. Uh, the motorcyclist falls off and gets crushed by his own motorcycle. Mm-hmm. The guy who won the lottery, he, he drives through a semi truck gas can or a, a yeah. gas tank blows up he should be gone yes. in pieces we come back to him like a couple seconds later he's and he's sitting in his car stuck, burning yeah. as as the um as the truck comes to the fire mm-hmm. and finishes him off i love the truck in this because it sounds like it's laughing yeah and yeah it does as the yeah. tires squeak yeah. up, it just yeah. sounds like yeah. it's laughing in this movie which is very fun um 
the I'm the cocaine guy. Yeah. Cocaine guy. He I mean, that's just a crash. I he think just, yeah. he looks up in a truck comes at him yep the the kid with the bottles that was right that has he drops a two one liter of the bottles. bottles yeah it gets stuck under his mom's foot so she can't push the brake yep. so they do a big flippy and they're mm-hmm. dead a lot of people just kind of die yeah, yeah. yeah. lots yeah. of explosions lots holy of explosions, explosions. Yeah. It's and it ends I, it builds a crescendo conflict. so yeah. there's the biggest explosion and mm-hmm. that's how you know it's over yeah mm-hmm. um aj cook is her suv with all her friends does a couple of flips on the highway they end up fine but mm-hmm. then as they're watching the one guy burn to death the truck comes through the fire. Yes. Coming yeah. to get her. It's a well. It, it's it a really looks well like a vengeful opening. truck, it though. Does. It looks like, it's like you <laughs> thought you could get away. There's almost a smile in the grill. You just yeah. Go, Shit. It's coming for me. <laughs> so the writers of which I think there were f- there were three on the screenplay, I, two yeah. on the, the right there. I think there were two on the screenplay, three on the store. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the two are the, the, but- the butterfly. Effect, yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. So their primary thing that they were able to bring to the movie i assume this is why you know you had this brain trust was we have to come up with these sequences yes. right yes. and so i mean is that pigeons. how you look out for pigeons is that how you judge a final destination movie absolutely is the it only like a reason friday you, 13th the only like, reason you go see a final destination yeah. movie. you want to see the creative and inventive kills you, it's the same as saw yeah or whatever. these people yep. don't matter these yeah. people are fodder for the mousetrap like yeah once you you can have the really great idea which would mm-hmm. be final destination but then like you get pushed into line and just like they're coming for the kill yeah exactly kind of end up in that lane yes. yeah. most of the time it did it felt like it um the first half was kind of like okay we have a kill and then there's a little while later till mm-hmm. there's another kill but as you rock it toward the ending yeah. mm-hmm. it did feel like it was like one right after the other yeah. they were just like going into it like okay right. oh, here so we much go. so that that a character asks a question and then 45 seconds later it's answered yeah, yeah. it's just like oh not much mystery well, there we're just I, going i did appreciate that kind of um that's like efficiency mm-hmm. i suppose in the yep. i can't remember that's if the sure. other ones had that cuz i guess i'm sitting here going like well, what movie did I like three the best? Three had pacing problems. Three is good. I problems, really like three. Three also but had one of the best scenes in this series with the gym and the tanning death. the gym death and the tanning bed death are I, I just like the, the, the gym, aggro yeah. gym death yes oh, that, like, on the, where the, the two yeah. the two yeah, swords the come down and yeah. slash the cords on the like so machine. much happens yeah. so quickly yes. yeah. Like, what yeah. The? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I remember that one that was good yeah. and I remember the tanning and, bed yep. death yep took it alive yeah yep I mean I remember some of them from four I there was the car wash one that's really good don't they steal from um no, that's the that's three. That's three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, because three was the one where you could save them. Yeah. In the Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. They released yes. the Blu-ray, yes. and it's like, would right. you like yeah. to save Choose this your own yeah. adventure? Yeah. Yep. Blu-ray, which is what they should do for yeah. these movies. Yeah. Like, wasn't mm-hmm. for the one that it stole like a swimming pool death from like yeah. Chuck Palahniuk's? Yeah. Uh, what was the name? Of his haunted guts. or whatever, yeah. Guts yeah, was guts. a short story in haunted. Isn't it that in? Horrifying. They just like stole that. Yeah, but not kinda. as good. Yeah, but yeah. Doesn't the guy's guts come shooting out of a drain? I at some think point? so. Oh, yeah, I four is the one I watch the least because it's okay. my least favorite. Yeah, all right. It's the most cynical of them all for some reason. So it how- really got to a dark point with that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. That was how do you like rate money. the? Uh, I guess how do you rate? Um, well, yeah, I suppose mm-hmm. that's for the end of the show. Yeah. It's like, how do you rate Final Destination 2 against those? Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we have some... So we have to, again, tie this back to the first movie. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. since there's only one surviving cast member from mm-hmm. the first movie, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, Devin Sawa rumors. was in. They, Died they, in they between kill them. him on a website page in this but, movie. Yes. In this movie. Yeah, in this movie. Yes, they kill which him is, in this movie. A brick falls on his head. Which okay. is like, you couldn't come up with anything better for how crazy these movies are. We're supposed to believe after all that, a brick took that man out. Like, Right, maybe they're just like, well, fuck you, Devin Sawa, for not doing our movie. Yeah. kill you with a brick off screen. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. I don't, I, I don't I, think so. I don't feel any animosity, but I, he does just die from a brick off screen. But why isn't he back for this it said there was contract negotiations mm, and probably... they just started filming before his contract worked out. So sure. then they just said, fine. Just like, yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. And he's back now in the Chucky TV show, right? Yeah, right? Or he was mm-hmm. for a little while. Um, but who do we get back? Clear Rivers. That's a name. Clear. Yeah. It's not Claire. Did, clear. Yeah. If you didn't yeah. know it was clear from, <laughs> yeah. from the first one where you thought yeah. it was Claire. Yeah. It is, yeah. It's Clear Rivers. It is clarified this is, uh, in this one. Allie Larder Mm -hmm. reprising her Mm -hmm. role. Um, So basically, she gets to be like a... uh, She's the expert that will guide you through. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
it becomes like, um, well, she's in a mental hospital. When uh, we voluntarily? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so that nothing will happen to her. And mm-hmm. she's got the red string board, which yep. I did appreciate. Yeah, Because you know, we this, love red yes. string boards. Although, Sean, I don't think you've actually built your red string board yet. There was much talk at some point, right? Wasn't yep. Sean going to be? Yeah, you were going to build board? one. Yeah. For what? Yeah. Uh, just for it to have it. Yeah. So when people would come over to your house, yeah. they go like, what are you working on? But you You're need like, a subject. Take your your files and build one on yourself. Oh, yeah. Well, out all, of your right, files. all right. All right. I am files and up. red string board go right. good together. Holly made me a file. I do yeah. need to yeah. come up with a red string yeah. board. Yeah. I, I need a good subject for it, though. But yeah. that's, you got to build that thing out like almost like in 3D. You have to take yeah. the, the manila folder that holds the file and like yeah. put that up there <laughs> in addition to I the, will make yeah. a manila folder red string pop up. There, yeah. yeah, there we yeah. go. Oh, that'd which be so will, satisfying. Which I can guide you all through. Yeah. yeah. Is there like a like a BuzzFeed list out there that's like the thirty best red string boards <laughs> in movies? Because I want to I want to see like a power ranking of <laughs> the best one, ones oh, in movies. Right. We've made enough listicles in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. Gotta best have red string board. Yeah. Is that what they're called? I hope so. I, I, that's what I call the them. The red yeah. string yeah. evidence yeah. board or, yeah. or something. If you say it, people will yeah. know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. Um. Okay. Just, so. just set next to a picture of Charlie Day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did he have a good one? A big uh, one, yeah. Okay. And it's, it's always the, sunny. It's, it's a very meme. famous like, meme. Yeah. You know, talk about it and you post something online. It's Charlie Day going. It, yeah, it's, that's, yeah. <laughs> Where is Pepe Silvio? Yeah, it was a, that was a, and that was an episode from like 2006. That is an old, hey, if it works. old meme. Yeah. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. Well, they have to, uh, I guess you don't have to spring clear. Clear. From Weird. the uh, the 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 psych ward, she yeah. can just check herself out. Mm-hmm. She's resistant at first. I don't blame her. As what is she doing be. wrong here? If Nothing. You, right. If you saw, if you went through everything you went through in the first movie, I understand what she's doing. She's yeah. keeping herself safe. She's right. like, right. She's like, it'll always come back around and get you. Mm-hmm. But eventually, she does accept the challenge. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure exactly because she's so hostile. Yes. Uh, to yeah. this new girl coming in and going like, I'm going through the exact same thing that you guys went through last year. She's like, that sucks. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> Everyone's really <laughs> adversarial with each other for no they reason. They really are. Is this just like, this is, is the this the, the time where like characters are kind of like bitter and cynical like this towards each other? Was this like a trend of this time or yes. something? I yeah, wonder, like snarky feels, and yeah, like yeah it, you know. This it is pre Reddit con- snark. Yeah, right. it continued right. for a while because again we've complained many times on on here about characters that you just don't. Yeah, right. It's like. the era. I guess right. and that it colors the movies of like the two yeah. thousands. Yes. just everybody is so and you, you antagonistic. Yeah. And, yeah. and you wonder like what is the thinking? Did they not spend enough time on these characters because they knew they were just there to die? Like right. you always wonder the thinking behind writers and directors creating characters and how much they put into them and why just are they all assholes? It's almost like they think because it's a horror movie there needs to be conflict 20 happening 24-7 between like whether if to it keep you on if, edge yeah exactly reason, if kills yeah. aren't happening then people need to be arguing you know or just yeah antagonizing Maybe, each other or they're just spending more time on death scenes right. and what have you or they're just like uh, well, you get the basic beats and let's move on to the kill scene. I mean I've always um, wondered if it was you know the criticism in the 80s was that you have these characters that they're going to die, right? Mm -hmm. And so then are you making them uh, assholes, basically, so you don't, you, the audience, don't feel bad. Right, you're like, yeah, that fucker got his, you know, which is kind of sick, you know, I guess when you think about it. But it absolves you, or absolves them from killing people in the movie. It it does lessen (laughs) a little bit. If everyone's an asshole, you don't quite care, and you get away with more, I would think. Mm -hmm. Right, because if there's an emotional, uh, a big emotional impact, um, I don't know. Somebody may say like, "Let's bring, let's bring that back a bit, just because mm-hmm. we care about right. these." Yeah, it's like if Jesus. they're assholes, like, like yeah. we can go full forward and burn mm-hmm. them in a yeah. fucking car. Because the, you know this movie's mm-hmm. obviously calibrated for entertainment, uh, entertainment value. Yes. So um, we have several big um, murder set mm-hmm. pieces. Uh, explain the first the one first is a uh, lottery guy, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I like, I understand why the log scene is so iconic from this movie, but so many more and in, uh, insane things get missed because people only talk about the log scene. This being one of those scenes The the way this goes about, <laughs> like this guy won the lottery. So he buys himself an iMac computer, a watch, a ugly ring. Um, he's got people calling him constantly, leaving messages, wanting to, <laughs> Just like, who's yeah. won the lottery? Let's hook up. Yeah. Um, he goes to make himself some mozzarella sticks, 
frying them in a bunch of oil, yep. spills the oil all over the oven, but takes his shirt off to do this, which is, I have questions. Why? Which is the Why? first thing you want to do when you're about to cook something in oil. Yeah, is take your shirt off. Ugh. Exactly. And uh, he has a nipple ring. He important nipple for later. Ring. It is important for yep. later. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there was a payoff <laughs> to that. Oh, that should have been a, like, he's backing away from a fire, gets it caught <clears throat> on something. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He um th- has spaghetti in a pan and throws it out the window. Yep. I'm trying to remember all the little he, pieces. There's a, a, a fridge magnet yes. letters that one of them dislodges says, hey, and falls off. It says off. hey E, but when yeah. the H falls off, it just says I. Yeah. Yep. And that falls into his Chinese food, yes. which he's going to reheat in the microwave. Micro- right. Of course, which know. I don't know if you've ever put a microwave in a, uh, or a magnet in a microwave. <clears throat> don't. Yep. Yeah. They don't get along. Yep. We'll add that to the conversation of us electrocuting things. Yes. That we had a few weeks ago. <laughs> yes. Also, don't do this. Yeah. And somehow he ends up dropping the ring into the dish disposal and we're like yep. oh man yep. and he just put on a nice new uh, watch yes. diamonds inlaid and so he, he reaches in there to get it and it gets with stuck. his watch hand yeah. his brand new watch hand like I'm so, my hand's never going near a garbage disposal I no. don't care if there's not I've electricity running into the house I have reached in oh god Colin why multiple times because eventually you get something stuck down there and you gotta like get reach in and like but come on. Isn't that what like a like a snake or a gopher grabber is for anything? Sink. Anything you need to go just by Just replace feel. the sink. Anything? Oh. Undo the pipes? Yes. Just, just, Seriously. So I'm asking for it. it you're yeah. saying, I mean, I'm like, you're not gonna touch the, yeah, okay. I'm, yeah. A, I'm a final destination candidate waiting yeah. to have You're at least gonna lose a, a hand yeah. at some point. I'm sorry. But this gets out of control extremely fast because now he's got his hand stuck in the garbage disposal. Yes. What else is happening in the apartment? Uh, the microwave is sparking because of the magnet, yep. which causes fire to light on the oil that's all over the stove. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So the mozzarella sticks are really taking him around. And also, here. he's an idiot, so he decides to try and, as he's stuck in the sink, yeah. put out the flames by smacking the pan, which <laughs> knocks it over. Yep. Right. Well, he's trying to uh, create wind, I guess, with yeah. the old sure. rag. Yeah. And then it you know, falls onto the floor. <laughs> yes. He's which, got which, garbage all over the floor. Yeah. He lights it lives in fire. squalor. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Lottery winner. It's yeah. it's all his winnings. They're just scattered yeah. all over the hallway. The brand new the iMac way. catches on fire. Yeah. Never even got taken out of the box. No, it, the fire is so hot that it melts the fire uh, alarm. Did you like, yeah. though, did you like seeing it switch off? I yeah. thought that was a nice touch. You, you literally hear the power drain and see the light like go that. out. Yep. So you know uh, death is like, nope, nope, not today. Yeah, pulling right. the pulling the wires out of this. And then, yeah, it melts. Yep. So there's really no hope. And then he goes for the windows. Because he gets how free. How does he get free? It does. does he, he just, it just it? Oh, okay. yeah. comes free because that's how this movie happens. Yeah. And then he goes for the windows that are open and they slam down, go, like on their own, yeah. slam down. A, a, a better movie would have, again, if these were actual characters yeah. and not caricatures, a better movie would have this guy going, what the fuck is going on mm-hmm. when those windows slam? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, all right, something yes. more is happening here. There's no, mm-hmm. there's no what would feel, and again, I know this is a horror movie where weird things are happening, people die, but there doesn't feel like a genuine, real human reaction to any of no. the events that are happening in this movie. These aren't people and at all. you can have fun with that, yeah. but that is a thing that happens. I think movie. the fifth movie does that better. Yeah, Those people one, definitely react. They And they feel, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, even I think like the lead uh, in this, at yeah. some point she's like, I'm going to die. I know that I'm going to die, and I'm so terrified. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was the delivery. Yeah. <laughs> that is as much, is as much terror as we feel from yep. any of these people. No, the, the, uh, the black guy who's like, I control my life, his was, he was the most terrified person in this movie, although right. I don't understand what he does in that moment, because it's just like, uh, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. No. What do you mean? Well, uh, we eventually... What is our first one? Because the... So after lottery, well, lottery, lottery guy, guy yeah. so he goes down the fire escape and then fall. Does the spaghetti play a part in this? Yeah, because he yeah. gets off he the ladder. He trips, yeah. He's like, oh, that was close. He yeah. sli- slips on the spaghetti that he just yeah. threw out the window. Yeah. Uh, the ladder <laughs> does a fake out where it yep. feels like it's going to fall down and then it falls into his face and yep. impales him and kills him. Really bad CGI, but really bad. Like, yeah, right I feel like even eye. for 2002, it was bad. Mm, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's um, why I cut away from it real quick. Yeah. Like, we're going to get out of here. But yeah. so don't throw spaghetti out of your window. Yep. It will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> it will kill you. <laughs> it was the moral of the yes, story here. Yes. Um, uh, then we get into like the cop shows up at, at Kimberly's house. Mm-hmm. They start talking like that. They, they all talk like they 
like they re- all know each other now. Yeah, they like are like a support group strangers. for each other. Re- now. Real quick though, yeah. because they've only met at the police station once at this point. Right. Yeah. But they're all. I mean, he's got all their phone numbers. They all. Like, I think it's after the first guy dies, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh shit, that's right. That crazy lady was telling us that this mm-hmm. happened with Flight 180. Right. That it eventually all the people who survived die. Right. And now one of the guys happen. who survived dies. What's gonna happen to us? And so they have a re meeting where they all meet at somebody's apartment. Um, as you do. Oh no! Before that is even the kid dies at the dentist. That okay. Before <laughs> this is probably the, I think the best scene because in this whole fucking movie. It's so crazy. A premonition of pigeons in a in a window. Yep, uh, that's really important. <laughs> like really important. So this kid who might be twelve, might be sixteen, depends on the scene and what they need him to do. Yeah. Um. Because his mom treats him like he's much younger than she he appears to be. Him, what was that? To his just, room? Like a glass water. of water? Yeah, and like, but she like, lights out. Yeah. Warm, warm milk. Like, yeah. Isn't this kid like 16 years old? Like, and his bedroom but, looked pretty juvenile for a 16 year old. Right. He had the but periodic I think table. The, up oh, yeah, him. but they're, he's she's momming him real hard. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. lost her husband, and he's the only thing yeah. he's got. Yes. And she's the only thing he's got. So yeah. there's that yep. that pre Bates Motel relationship going on here. Yep. So he has to go to the dentist, which isn't a high rise. And with a massive construction project happening right, right outside. outside the window yes, yes. um <laughs> including carry, cranes having carrying very big glass plate windows yep. like huge um they have to keep replacing them because the pigeons keep flying into them yes uh some beefy ass pigeons some so the kid goes did you catch this line about like if i wake up with my pants unzipped we're gonna sue yeah, yeah what yeah, yeah. was that <laughs> like That's it. I don't know. The yeah, Seinfeld yeah. episode? Yeah, joke yeah. But like, yeah. But there, there was something in the news about right. a dentist, dentist had been who molesting yeah. somebody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was like just people a weird waking thing. up and their buttons are undone. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was weird to put in this so movie. So it was but. in the ether. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, f- as we get into the dentist's office, we see a fish tank. And this tiny little fish gets stuck on the filter. I feel so bad for this fish. I don't know why. <laughs> this is where they get really granular with how this stuff starts, though, right? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like oh, now we're getting complex. Yeah. like <laughs> Just for the Last it. time it was spaghetti out the window. Now it's a fish getting stuck on a filter can take you right. out. Right. Like, and I feel like this is, I, I feel like they're showing off at this point. I, I love it. Yeah. We haven't gotten to the point where it's just like, okay, this seems a bit much. Because we are only the second movie in right. this whole thing. So they're like, all right. They're showing now off. It's going to get crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the fish gets stuck on the filter, which causes the filter to <laughs> come loose from the fish tank, which sprays up against the wall, which drips down into it, the outlet the fish tank is which, plugged which into. Which has, I, I might add, the plug is slightly pulled yep. out. It's, it's like, yeah. always that's plugged my, all my MO for electric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, I know what that is. Yep. Yep. And it is pouring yes. <laughs> into that socket. Yep. And uh, as the water is pouring into the socket, it's also pooling and spreading across the office close to the mom's foot. Yep. Um, um, the dentist is about to look at this kid's teeth and do something with the cavity and a pigeon hits the window with so much force it causes like like spider cracks across like the whole window. Yes, exactly. Window. Yeah. I, I'm we all have seen birds hit windows, right? They die and they yeah. don't leave a crack. Like yeah. At least any time a bird's hit my window, they bounce there off and is, die. And like, I only know this from where he is. There's a rehab facility for birds that fly into windows in Chicago. Really? There's huh. one here. Oh, is there one here yeah. as well? Oh, yeah. That's cool. It's such a big thing where yeah. they have to go collect them either because they're right. dead or because they are injured and they have to nurse yep. them. Right. Help. But none of those birds have <laughs> broken a window, I would guarantee you, right? It would take like a like a hawk or something so. big to break yeah, a window, right? right? No, yeah. it would take like a goose a could do it. Yeah. I mean, those are, it would you know, take yeah. somebody yeah. holding a pigeon in their hand, yeah. Yeah. standing it's a not foot like from the window and chucking it in your home window at whatever floor this is. It's a high rise window. Right, exactly. Like not breakable mostly. So that it causes him to jump, and he's like, "Okay, do you just want the nitrous gas?" Which, like, wow, this this dentist is just ready to take shortcuts at any time. Concerning for uh, this kind of professional. Um, yeah. So he's he's putting the kid down with for nitrous, and a second pigeon hits the window and causes another equally as big crack. Yeah. And it's like, okay, what is happening Gets that is making the these birds, the birds? Yeah, what, like what's like if you're if you're a person not aware of the final destination and that's happening, like if you're that dentist, <laughs> what do you think is going on with these birds that they are like crashing yeah, into the window. He shrugs it off. It's like, yeah. those damn birds, I'm going to have to replace another window. So this happens all so, the yeah. time? So death. Yes. Death, like six months prior, was like, all right, I got to set this up so nobody thinks this is weird. <laughs> right. Six months earlier, you death do was chucking so pigeons the, into the window. Yeah. Right. The okay. window is so not like off. a reflective or put a cover right. yeah. coating on it or something. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so but this is also, uh, it seems to be 
a dentist office for little children. Yes. Because there was a mobile. How old is this Again, boy? Yeah, we don't yeah. know how old yes. this boy is. Yes. He's, he's, like, he's 16, but, but he's, he's always yeah. in these kid situations. But there's a fish mobile above him. Yes. Running around. And out of nowhere, one of them breaks off and a, a very stringy plastic fish drops into this kid's mouth. It While is. it's being held open yes. for the procedure and the oxygen shut off and he's full nitrous now. Full nitrous. So he's <laughs> yes. goofy. So goofy you could kill him right here. Yeah. But you no, could. some the oh, nurse no. comes in and- something better for this child. Yeah. So it's like, okay, he's been rescued. She pulls the thing out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. He takes a breath. He can breathe again. Mm-hmm. And his, him and his mom are like, well, we're not going back there again. They don't say that. Well, but- uh, meanwhile, <laughs> pigeons have broke through the glass and are running in the lobby now. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yes. Mom's trying to catch the, yes. yeah, but it's too slippery because yep. of the water. Yep. Yeah. And the pigeon. waters, there's like arcing sparks in the water, which the, nothing happens with that. Dude. No. no. Yeah. It, so no, that's she, a good misdirect. She gets up and moves away yeah. as it arcs at her. Yeah. Like it almost got her. Yeah. It's I'm a good misdirect. I suppose the electricity was on a little hand. <laughs> yeah. Then you go, what was the point of this entire scene if it didn't actually pay off? Throw you off the scent, Colin. No, pigeons. The I point mean, is still, still the pigeons. Right, because yeah. they will always, whatever you think, because she'll get the premonition of it, whatever you think it is, yes. it'll be there. Right. But it won't be like... It's, it's not exactly exact, what right. you think. That it's not as literal. The same right. thing. Yes. Then I have a question, mm-hmm. because uh, remind me, in the first one, did Devin Sawa continue to have premonitions? Not he- like her. I, I thought he like just this. had the one, and then after that it was, you know... It was ev- and ev- all the at the ones- end, doesn't he have a few? At the mm-hmm. end of that movie? No. Uh, he has the one actual premonition where we see other things. For the rest of the movie, he gets the feeling. We see the shadow. We mm-hmm. hear the we, the mm-hmm. breeze. Yeah. There's a little something I like in that the better. Atmosphere. That's yeah. better. Yeah, that's There's better. a little something in the atmosphere that is it's going just everything wrong. feels like, oh, yes. shit, something's mm-hmm. going to happen. And so it's represented that way. No other visions. That starts but happening. In, in this one. one, our hero keeps on having new premonitions yes. and then trying to figure it out. What am I seeing here? Mm-hmm. Kind of like uh, Lucio Fulci's The Psychic. You remember <laughs> yeah, that one? No, or, I haven't yeah. seen that. Now, now I'm intrigued. It's not a bad movie. All okay, right. I don't, don't want to give yeah. it away. Um, okay, so, but then... Okay, so they they leave the dentist office and you're like, hmm, they dodged death like eight times in there. What, what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, that and, seems like it, they should be acting a little crazier for everything. They just had. Mom, I j- almost just died. Right. I just fell in my mouth. Well, you threatened to sue if your pants were going to be unzipped. You definitely going to sue after this, right? That's yep. what, they, you know, I almost choked to death and you gave me way too much nitrous. I'm definitely suing. Yep. Um, so they're coming down to the sidewalk where all the construction's happening there's tons of pigeons on the sidewalk and AJ Cook and the other guy are running up on the opposite side of the pigeons so there's massive pigeons between them and what are they shouting pigeons, pigeons! but no other context no, so yeah, the kid it. starts chasing these pigeons and he looks like a five year old when he's yeah, chasing these yeah. pigeons this is like the way he's doing he it does, it's very awkward which I always it always stuck with me the way yes. he does it. he's like skirting up towards them yeah he's like this kid is he, he, may, he might be special <laughs> yeah um, and a cable snaps and a big play Plate glass window comes down and folds this kid up like an accordion. <laughs> yeah, it, it is Looney Tunes style. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, yeah. gnarly. It's, and, yeah. It's very good. Oh my god! That this why is why do people not remember the pigeon smushing scene? Pigeon. You know, <laughs> is this all? Does this all go back to the Omen? Mm. Right? Didn't Maybe, the omen yeah. kill people? Like the devil? I mean, yeah, you never saw that's it. true. Yeah. The weather vane and uh, like that's it. true. Yeah. Anybody who's going to get in the way is just like, mm-hmm. you're gone. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, always, sorry. It was a sidebar. No, it's, it's, it's just a creepy. No, like, that's a good thought. Like, okay. It's an element that uh, maybe has kind of always been present in there, but like the Final Destination series like zeroed in on it. And yeah. Like, we're going to make it especially we're just about making this. It just about this. And yep. it's not necessarily demonic. Like I said, right. in this one, it's just you can't, you know, you we can't can run death. Right. Um. So the survivor group eventually starts being whittled away one by one. It becomes very frantic uh, toward the ending as they, okay, so this is where <clears throat> I think the, 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 the mythology expands because, um, does, well, they have to make a, re- good? they have to make a return because Ollie Larder yep. remembers having visited the mortician yep. in the first movie. So she's like, we're going to go back and talk to him. It is a reason to have a character from the first movie reappear again mm-hmm. and establish some kind of continuity but it makes no sense at all right right not particularly no that they go to his cavernous medieval basement in the, in the mortuary right. and he just happens to be like very casually like about to this is where the nipple ring comes back into yes. play uh, burn the first the 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 lottery winner mm-hmm. his body 
Yes. And it has to pull the nipple ring off. In a, in a close up where it stretches in a it's really a real nipple ring. That is the yeah. real nipple. And yep. I like the way they do that because yeah. when he actually just pulls it off, it's in a shot of him. And he, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, and you're like, oh Jesus. Yep. yep. Ugh. But the way they talk to him in this, it always feels like in this movie that everyone had a conversation in the car ride over there that we didn't get to see. Yep. And now when they arrive at the situation, they're all talking like everybody knows everything that's going Including on. Including right. the person they're talking yes. to. Yes. Because right. he's like, clear. I expected you. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because he, again, still does seem to have foreknowledge. She seems to think that he's an expert on this stuff. There is an implication uh, because I think that uh, toward the end of the scene, mm -hmm. He knows Kimberly's name, and she's like, "How did you know my name?" And he just kind of turns and like, He's like yeah, uh, "Of course, yeah. you know why I know her name, but right. she doesn't." And she's right. really freaked out about it, but it's just like at this point, why is that the thing? That is he death? Right. Is he death personified again? I have not seen four or five. I always think he is. Not he is. in three. He has like such a smaller role. Four, I don't remember. Yeah. Five is. Different. Different. <laughs> so. Different. Yeah. We can't a, say I don't more. that I think is good, but yeah. Yeah, yeah again. Yeah. I know. Not, I liked what yeah. they did. He's then. good. Because yeah. finally yeah. they changed the up the formula. Yeah. Um, no, he doesn't. He's not the problem, but he plants, I guess, the idea that <laughs> plants the idea with a fucking backhoe. Okay. Does he, he plant this? He just does he dig comes that out hole and, say and put a fucking seed in there? You Nothing have to, is. Uh, 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 subtle no. whatsoever. No. And again, like I said before, whatever these characters say is exactly what it is. So yep. in order to beat death, right, because there's a balance, you have to create a new life. Because yes. if you do that, that would throw off uh, death's death. A life that wasn't supposed to exist because you know right. the mother was supposed to be dead right and we all go oh fuck yeah that's right i remember there was a pregnant lady mm -hmm. involved in the opening crash mm -hmm. although astute viewers i am not one of you uh <laughs> should realize that you didn't actually see the pregnant woman right uh no one ever yeah right. no one makes that connection <laughs> right. no you remember seeing her and right. you figure that she got blown up but it turns out that she didn't. So we're off on a goose chase yes. for a good Ooh. portion of the movie, trying to make sure that this woman makes it to the delivery room on time. Got to make sure this woman gives birth. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it will save us all. And uh, there's several more deaths. Um, the cocaine guy. What happened to him? Well, hold on. Uh, lady with the hook or man with the hooks? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> because a premonition yeah. that a man. Oh, well, they see. Um, sto they, no, they stoner, cocaine say, guy. Look for the signs. Yes, because that'll help you. Yeah, cocaine guy sees a shadow that looks like a guy with hooks. <laughs> are we all That's, seeing this? Yeah, are we all? It, that was right. great. And um, I like. I love that they choose to take what could be a very normal circumstance, like an elevator killing someone, and just make it that much weirder by adding a guy holding a basket of hooks. Like, yep. why not? You They're know, like prosthetic limbs. Yes, with hook, you but know, like hook, a yeah. metal shopping basket just yep. stuffed right. with them. Because yeah. it was like, all right, lady's gonna lose her head in the elevator. Mm -hmm. How do we get there? Yes. Yeah. And somehow they got to man <laughs> with a <laughs> box <laughs> of hooks. <laughs> yes. That's and I want to know where they went before, where they went, where they got to that idea. And we're like, all right, we'll save that one. We'll come back to it in case we don't think anything else. I want to know everything they've yeah, thought the, before they got to there. I mean, there. that is the fascination with, I mean, I suppose, <laughs> you know, yeah, the, the, the writing process <laughs> right. on these right. movies. This yeah. is the, what didn't make it? This is the mother of the kid who died at the dentist yep. office, outside right. the dentist's office. So she ends up losing her head in the elevator. Yes. A man with a hook is going to try and kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then um, there's this the cyclist, right? The, well, there's a whole thing that takes place. Well, they're trying to meet the van that's taking the woman who's pregnant to the delivery room, mm -hmm. and they go off the road. Right, because they have to try and find her. He's a cop. He's like, I'll put on an APB for her. We'll mm -hmm. arrest her. We'll bring her in. They find her. Yeah, she's going into labor over at Dollar General. Right. They do mm -hmm. take her into custody. He tells them that. Mm -hmm. um, they're going. No, they're going to, like, meet her at the at the jail, but they don't know that she went into labor while she was in the jail and that she's being rushed to the hospital in yep. a white van. Dun, dun, dun. Which uh, uh, another premonition has said that a uh, white van drives into a river and mm -hmm. someone dies. And yeah. so, so we have like two cars going the opposite ways or on mm -hmm. a highway uh, set to meet in explosive on Heilmarker 180. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah, uh, more tie in Heil and, uh, um, there's another character introduced here, this kid who tries to, because the cars eventually, um, 
I don't even remember what inspired it, but a they flat, sp- a flat yeah, tire. A flat tire. They spin out. They both end up in the ditch. Uh, the pregnant lady goes to the hospital, still with the her police officer. Yep. And then there's a kid. We lose a bunch of characters at this point. Yeah, but that and the, and the introduction of that other kid who's going to come in in the finale. Like there's the a kid working pre-credit. in the field on the farm. Um, he he tries to help with certain people. He almost gets hit by a I'm news van. I'm not even sure how out of this way. ties into the end of it. Yeah, there's a big. It, it's, it's it's just to say that th- just because we're following this line of death and taking people, there are other lines that are also but happening. There is a paying attention to. There's another important scene in the mythology building of this movie, okay. right? Where they're all sitting in the car together and they realize that each one of them has cheated death before. Right. Right. And but, so you're like, okay, are you, this is how this whole uh, thing um, um, constructs itself. Right. Is each one of them, had tickets to go to Paris and didn't go. And because of what that, someone before, else Colin? died. Well, it turns out that one of the characters from the original movie was supposed to go there and you took it or whatever. They the took ending your was place. In Paris. Yes. It's right. like, and they, they it's like, I remember go, I was going to go to a concert, but they called it off because some dude just got randomly hit by a sign. It's like, oh, that was from the, from the guy from the first movie. I mean, it's a big, it's a big callback to the first movie. Yeah. But mm-hmm. basically, it sounds like what they're doing is saying that the first movie uh, created a ripple effect, a butterfly effect, if you will, <laughs> and that now all of the people in this movie are directly related yep. to. Be, they yes. are <laughs> victims or chosen victims because. Of the mm-hmm. uh, the events you know, of the first movie, yeah. they even say like we'd all be dead if not for the events of the first movie, right? Like it fucked up Death's design that much, yeah. Which is not bad, mm-hmm. but it's very <laughs> sequelitis. I mean, like yes. everything yes, you are correct ties to that first movie like so like, hard, so hard. Yeah. And I think that's the problem I have with it because it's they're trying so hard to connect every single thing back to that first movie yeah and you can feel it and yeah. it does not get any uh, on rewatch it's not any better no that's why i think like once they kind of liberated themselves from that yes. in the third mm-hmm. one i think right they, they became yeah. more fun yeah and you didn't kind of feel that like weight of like right. we that guys just back to the people not necessarily the connection to mm-hmm. them. Yep. yes um, oh, again, a lot of deaths during this one because, again, they have the accident. Their van spins out. They end up, you know, uh, they crash into a bunch of pipes that are coming through the thing. Yep. Um, the biker guy gets injured. He collapsed lung because mm-hmm. everyone on in this group is a fucking medic. And right. knows what a collapse. Like, Ali Larder is a medic. And she's like, ah, yeah. or AJ Cook mm-hmm. is like, he's got a collapse lung, I think. Like, everyone's yeah. making medical diagnoses. Right. He gets like, for no reason. Oh, no, the, 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 yeah, biker guy gets injured. Um, the 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 business lady she was driving the whole time. So oh, that's a good one. Yeah, she's stuck in the front seat because a log has gone through the thing and has, mm-hmm. has trapped her in there. And there's a big sharp pipe behind her head. Um, it ro- impales the back of the car, and you're like, oh no, yep. you didn't miss your head, yep. right? But then when they're trying to rescue her with the jaws of life, they yes. trigger so, the airbag and it slams her into it. And it's and great. Dies. It's yeah. great because yeah. it's so unexpected. <laughs> yep. It's just like oh. After the big event, then she dies. Right. So she gets knocked off there. Rory has a human moment with AJ Cook. He's like, hey, uh, you're going to die after me, right? Can you do me a favor? And he gives her his wallet and his keys and everything. Oh, like, Rory's the, the cocaine. The guy Rory's who's like cocaine. the Trans Am cocaine. Yeah. You remember how he dies, though? Well, yeah. In the field, like, like. Oh like, yes, yes. Okay, because they kind of do this in the fourth one too. But um, so the explosion shoots the like barbed wire fence at him but like the two fence. posts yeah. are like still attached like the barbed wire doesn't come off the post it's like a whole chunk of Does fence it, get it, it, Garroted? it slices him in thirds yes and then yeah, the third like falls yes. a midsection <laughs> yeah. legs yes. and an arm gets lost in there yeah. as well it's one of my favorite deaths it's from good. any of this because yeah. it's just fun. it happens so quick too it does because they always have the intestines like just kind yep. of yep. out of yeah, the, yeah, kind yeah. Of the guy gets mm-hmm. so he's gone she's gone um, all we have left is the cop, AJ Cook and Allie Larder. I and think. the biker. Biker's going he's to the hospital. He's in the hospital. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. going to the hospital. And that's another scene where like the supernatural seems to be directly involved because... Oh, yeah, big time. There's a gas leak that go Again, the Goldberg The vents machine. shut. We see the yeah. vents in the room shut. Oh, we yeah. see, like, yeah, gas valves turn and things kind of unplug, so the room's filling with what, pure oxygen, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we get real close to, like... And it's also, wires, like, strangling him. Wires doing their own thing. Right. Like, we, 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 there's a, well, because there's a the, line. 
fine. Even because his bed is moving on its own and making all yes. the wires or tighten the up. oxygen machine is moving away from him. It's yeah. like yeah, yeah. Yeah. wires and even tubes from his face and everything. And like literally the plug on him is like loose, coming loose. Like they're yeah. gonna pull, it's going to pull the plug on him like literally. Yeah. But I think at the same time, this woman gives birth. Yes. And everybody's like, oh my God, she gave birth. Do you know what that means? That means we've changed the timeline and everything's good now. And they're all mm-hmm. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they and are. And we're like, movie over. Cool. And then, dun, 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 new premonition. Yes. What is her premonition because, at that uh, point? Oh, it's still like, she's still seeing like the drowning, uh, the going, doctor before, before, strangling her. Because as they're driving to the hospital after everyone died in the field and everything, she gets another premonition where she sees Dr. Kalarjan. She sees someone with bloody hands driving into a lake. She sees a bunch of stuff still that we don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then we uh, uh, they eventually get to the hospital. Again, she gives birth, so we think, oh, everything's good from there. And then she's hit with another premonition. Uh, where she like sees it's not over yet. The pregnant lady did not die in the initial crash. Yeah, that's where, yeah, that's where it came. And it's like, oh, shit, this is right. still going on. And then poor Allie Larder goes to see the, uh, the biker. Yeah. But the room's full of um, oxygen, and it explodes. Yep. There's a spark and a plug, and it explodes. Yep. And and boom, and she's killed. And that was, I guess, supposed to be surprising. It was. Yep. But it wasn't really treated with any kind of like, oh, okay, so she's no, out of the right. movie. No reverence for the character that <laughs> right. survived that entire movie yeah. and was trying to not die. Right. It's like, okay, we're done with her. <laughs> it, really, it really is. She goes flying into the screen. And then mess. Uh, 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 Kimberly is like, you know what? I figured, I figured it out. This is how we do it. I have to die. Yeah, but if I, I, kinda, I sacrifice myself, it'll interrupt somewhere. Or I'm like, I kind of hate, hate, hate this. It doesn't make any sense because they want you. It, it wants you to die and, anyway, right? And it's not. And and her plan as she's as everything's coming together for her. She sees the ambulance drive up. She sees the lake. She figures out what she has to do. The cop is still with her. Well, and she realizes that her premonition has been of her own death. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's the, I guess the thing that, you know, is interesting about that's where her premonitions are coming right. from. Mm-hmm. She's seeing her own death and doesn't recognize mm-hmm. it. Right. She does recognize it eventually, but, and it seems like she comes up with the plan because we're still thinking new life will eradicate death's design and what have you. Mm-hmm. So it feels like she gets the idea as like, oh, I'll drive into the lake and then you can bring me back to life Is before it? before yeah. she does it. Yes, because she says to the cop, get Kalarjan, get the doctor. Oh, get the doctor. She's got it in her head, yep. but she's also not explaining this to anybody. Yeah. Right. Because I didn't. I missed hoping, it. Right. She's yeah. hoping on sheer luck. They don't explain it because they don't want the... But she's foreseen it, so she yeah. knows that that's right. the person who brings her back right, to life. Right, right, right. Yeah. They don't want the audience to know anything, so they have give very limited information, even though she should be telling the cop everything. Yeah. Bring back, I'm going to go do this, bring you back to life and everything. So that's how they beat it, because she does she die, drowns. but she's resuscitated, and so then that breaks the curse, right? And apparently yeah. then saves the cop, because she went out on her time and say, or ahead of her time. She was supposed to die last and saves the cop. Yeah, and wouldn't so, that? But if she was doing that ahead of her time, wouldn't the death have stopped it from happening? Or is because it happens with other people? They yeah. try and kill themselves before the their guy time. tries to shoot himself with the gun, six blanks, but it turns out the gun's loaded. Right, right. But then it what, didn't what go off. Asking, so is it death because, made the gun not fire? Mm-hmm. Right, because it wasn't his time. But is it because she's the one having the premonition premonitions that she gets a pass in this again regard? i this, guess i this guess is, this sets up an unexplored and right. potentially interesting like where does sure. all this come from um <laughs> we don't so, get there in this movie but <laughs> right yeah but sure. sequels uh and they still haven't done it i as far as i can remember but right. then there's a, a capper where we're at a picnic. well they bring her they bring her back to life uh they do end up bringing her back to life i i, I think and they decide they're good from there. I don't yeah. remember what mm-hmm. happens when she just comes back to yeah, life they're and they're like, all and like, they we're good. It. Yeah. How would they know? Right. Because it's a new life that they were. She but, was how like, would, but how did they know that that, she what that means, had that Colin? in her, because she, she, like, at some point there was like, I, I, you know, there was the realization to her that like new life means. But they have so many realizations that are so wrong in the rest of the movie. Why is this the one that's correct? Because it was Colin that way. And that is the correct answer, Colin. <laughs> so shrug your shoulders and be like, I don't know. That's the correct answer. Yeah. Thank you. But again, they are saved. And the tacked on ending. <laughs> it feels tacked on. It's just, you know, you got to have something to go you on. have on. a little But jab. I didn't quite understand it because I don't, I guess I, I didn't remember the sequence of events. But they're at like a. Well, because the kid 
in, when they have the accident in the in field, the field right? Rory, cocaine guy, mm-hmm. um, the the kid who what's her name calls Jethro at some point. The kid who's working in the field, the farmer, mm-hmm. um, almost gets run over and killed by the news van. Rory, yeah, the cocaine guy, pulls saves him out of the way, him. saves his life. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's that death design that's also working. Um, so if Rory was dead in the traffic mm-hmm. crash, he wouldn't have been able to save the farmer kid, yes. right? And That's so that right. puts the farmer kid on the death list. Right. Because right. he should be dead. But okay. how much longer is this scene after the events of the movie is what I want to know. A year. Like, so at, he at was dodging. A, at least a summer. Yeah. Because like they yeah. ask her like yeah. how her life is so turning out. Feeling, this was early spring just based on weather and coldness. Yeah. We yeah. were talking about yeah. in the movie. So he's dodging death for the whole summer. Uh, yep. I wow. Think I think there's got to be a realization before it can happen. Like death wants you to know just before it's going to happen. Yeah. At least that's the fun I'm having with this yeah. moment. And then he's at the grill. Honey, you better go check the grill. That mm-hmm. uh, those burgers are gonna uh, overcook. Mm-hmm. And and they tell the story of the kid being saved in the field. And then so AJ Cook and the cop are looking at each other like, Oh, oh. no! Yeah. And then there's that slow look over to the grill, and a man, a mannequin <laughs> that yeah. has been standing at this grill <laughs> blows to bits. Yeah. In a, a great explosion yes. because it's, yeah, it was more, pretty good. it's more the body exploding yeah. and then flame around yeah. it. It's real good. Yeah. And so the mom screams her head off. The kid's arm lands in front of her on her plate, mm-hmm. which is how you want a fucking <laughs> movie like this to yes. end. Good for them. Yep. Yeah. Black. And then you yep. go to credits. Yeah. I mean, it was. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess it's, it's delivering what you want. There was a scene early on. That uh, had me philosophize. Oh, I mean, it okay. was, uh, yes, please. One of the, I think it was uh, Rory. Was asking her, it's like, well, you know, asking Kimberly, like, well, because you're so, so, um, this is the, you're going to die after me scene. This is the most yeah. human, uh, yeah. I thought, I think this is the most human moment of this movie. Even if it like, even if it is. Yeah. He tells her to like, here's my wallet and all this other stuff. If I die, you know, will you go to my apartment and get, get rid, rid of, of all drugs, my drugs and my porn my and porn everything, and anything that would embarrass me in front anything, of my mom. He says anything that would break my mom's heart, yeah. yep. which is a line I've always remembered because yep. I'm just like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. All right. A human, uh, there's a human in this movie. Right. Yes. right. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. I know. And that's it, why it stands out so that's much. Why it stands it's, out yeah. so much. But he also says like, when, so when I die, is, is it going to hurt? And she shrugs. She's like, I don't know. But I mean, ultimately when you die, you're not going to remember. It mm-hmm. then ultimately you're not going to remember any of this that we're having right now. Right. This is fucking depressing. Okay, yep. so uh, yep. final destination <laughs> two. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not we would recommend that you watch this movie. But first of all, we're going to answer some of your mail, and for that we go to a man who's been through many of these situations yes. before, <laughs> and has come Bobby back has every single time yep. in slightly different formations. Yes. Well, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. He's got cocaine dude's arm. <laughs> that is cocaine dude's arm. <laughs> he's got the Igor. little uh, pool ball uh, keychain from the yeah, motorcycle guy, like, too. That was a good keepsake. Yep. He uses as an earring now. Yep. It's a good look. <laughs> it is a good look. I'm glad you busted it out for this. Yeah. Thank you, Igor. Well, we should let the good folks at home now know how they can follow along uh, on this uh, part, our interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or X at Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us directly at Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. The hand movement threw me off, Colin. <laughs> yeah. You actually went X. Yeah, yeah with yeah. my hands. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, or <laughs> you can follow along on Instagram or you remember threads? Do you remember? I, I never, I never still never jumped on. <laughs> no, they keep every now and again the, they 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 post a little blurb. Yeah. Yes, where you they just, try to get me. They try and it's yeah. like, oh, you want to read the end of this one? Hit more, and yeah. they're just like, sign up for threads. I'm yeah. like, ah, I get notifications that so and so who you know from Facebook has now you know joined. Some people are right. and, out. I, and I just want to be like, I didn't find them that interesting on Facebook. I'm not following yeah. them right. the threads. But guess what? When you come to threads, we're there at Saturday <laughs> night. For so show. you should do it. We may not, <laughs> but you should do it. Um, MF Med, the keeper of the Saturday yes, Night sir. Freak Show Wall of Fame. Thank you, sir. Uh, he wants us to know that we're inducting two actors Ooh. from this movie to the Saturday Night Freak Show. I hope it's AJ Cook. Wall of Fame. It is not. Uh-huh. It is uh, David Paiktow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Paiktow. I'm going to go with, uh, you will recognize him from this movie. He played Evan Lewis. 
the, oh, the, the lottery winner. Okay, okay. Gotcha. What else was he in? He was also in disturbing behavior. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, was he the guy who went? Why not? No, I don't. Maybe think so. he was Tom Damn. Cox. Yeah. Nope. Is he the guy who owned the Mustang that got re- uh, destroyed? Mm-hmm. I can't remember. I don't remember. And mm-hmm. he was also a Northcom threat analyst in Man of Steel, which we also oh. did on an epic three and a half hour <laughs> episode <laughs> where at least two people walked out yes. yeah. and the rest couldn't continue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Benita Ha is also mm-hmm. uh, in this movie. She was the, the dental mom? receptionist. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. And she's been added to the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame because she Different. was also, you'll remember, she was Kim Wheeler in Valentine. Oh, okay. And she was also a forensics technician in Catwoman. Oh, oh wow. Jesus. Catwoman. Okay. All yes. Right. Well, she's just. Colin looked at me when he said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. We all I show us daggers. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I regret nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. So. You said it in a way that said, that's your it fault. It was accusatory. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you put her on the wall. So there, there you go. go. Um, okay. So. That about... space could have been for somebody important. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the hallway. It's it fine. Oh, right, the, right, both yeah. of those are that's relegated to the hallway of fame. Um. About tonight's movie, Final Destination 2. C.J. Lewis writes in and says, I admit I enjoyed Final Destination 2 because A, by this point, the series still had a plot, silly as it was, and B, to the best of my knowledge, it's the only movie that has permanently scarred me, as to this day, I refuse to drive behind a log truck, highway or not. As always, I love the freak show. You guys always manage to keep my spirits up during the tough times, so thank you for all you do, guys. Oh, Thank you, C.J. Lewis. Yeah. And our point proven, a yeah. generation is scarred. Yes. Yep. And it's not even just logs. It's like any debris, I feel like, isn't strapped anything, down well. Right, yeah. anything you you know? I drove by a truck that had just rebar. Oh, that's yeah. worse. And I was yeah. like, no. Yeah. And you go, that's a final destination. Yes, I'm like, exactly. that's worse. Yeah. Because you it's just going to go right that? through no, you. No. Yeah. And that's, is, that's a cover for one of the other movies, like the yeah. fifth one, where it's just rebar yeah. going through a skull. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mike Miller says, I love this series and I love this movie. It's probably my favorite of the five. My only gripe is that several of the characters being unlikable assholes or idiots, a complaint I have with a lot of horror from the 2000s. Yes. Why does half the target group have to be assholes? That aside, the deaths are pretty fun and I appreciate how they linked it back to the original. Oh, he pre There's my review. Yeah. Okay. okay, So it's not just us, but them being um, assholes. It is good to hear this. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Jacob Laws says the movie was full of great kills. Yes, the premonition sequence was top notch, but I think the death of the sun by the falling glass panel was messed up since he was completely smashed. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, flattened as Sean out. pointed out, there's a body bag we see in the background. It's like, what are you putting <laughs> into like, that? that? Get, a, d- get no. a dustpan like, and just, sweep like it's this kid up. on the yeah. ground, and the mom's yeah. like, oh no, my son. <laughs> You're not going to need a body bag. You're yeah. going to need no, a bucket. Put him in a bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you got to vacuum that dude up. <laughs> get a shop vac. <laughs> Uh, uh, the liquid uh, and the solid. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joey Blythe writes in and says, I live by a train track, as made famous by Final Destination, uh, yeah. and I pass logging trucks almost daily oh, like Final Destination 2, and I can't Move. not think of these movies when I see one or the other. Move. You daily? That's so frequently. Oh, my Move. God. Unless you're just like, I'm living in the danger zone, man. If I mm-hmm. if I uh, say it out loud, it won't happen to me. Right, if, like, right. if I live in that area, I'll be fine. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, you know, the only real fault I can give the sequels to this franchise is the lack of star power. You certainly aren't going into a Final Destination movie looking for a brilliantly written narrative or anything, but I'll bet the movie's would have been 10 times better if they could have gotten some really big names and killed them. This yeah. It's kind of cool. These movies are basically slashers without a slasher. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. Like, it would be nice to see like one of these. Like uh, Maybe with, uh, well, they won't, but with yeah. bloodlines, it's just like people will eventually realize the popularity of something and then jump on it later yes. if they do a, uh, yeah. a revival or something like that. It'd be nice to see a lot of big name stars get into something like this and then get fucking killed. Even You're right. It, it, it would be awesome. But even if it was just like you know, the, a CW crossover movie where they got every hot te- like teen TV actor, like grab all the Euphoria kids and some other people and put, put them in a final Disney station. Yeah, that. exactly. Fucking kill Ariana Grande. Yeah, and, that would be and, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like, that. Yeah. Although then we, maybe we get into scary movie territory and then we're doing that. Right. Mm. You can't go too far. Mm. You can't go they too far. They just have to play it straight. They you do. know? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 
Uh, last week we watched a movie called Messiah of Evil, mm-hmm. and Pat Hatfield says, I found this one to be unique and special with great cinematography, made apparently when the name of the game for horror movies was. Can you come up with something that's distinct and scary and maybe has something to say if you look hard enough and not? Can you make something that jumps on whatever trend is current now? And if you have a point, make sure you bludgeon the viewer with it. It goes <laughs> a long way toward proving that lesser known odd duck horror movies are usually the best ones. Yeah, I agree with a lot of that. Yeah. I didn't see the movie, but mm-hmm. I like what you're saying. Peter Gatt says, apparently the albino was Benny Robinson's only role, but I would have sworn I've seen him in other things. And that's ironic, Peter, because I also thought I'd yeah, seen him he looked familiar. in other things. But yeah. uh, mm-hmm. well, there you go. Um, Travis Legler says, I'm completely with Holly, Temple of Doom. Oh, because uh, uh, the movie Messiah of Evil was written by, um, was it Willard Hyuk and Gloria <laughs> Cash. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who yeah. also wrote Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom yeah. and Howard the Duck. Yeah. Uh, um, but the he, uh, <laughs> yeah. Travis says, I'm completely with Holly. Temple of Doom is the worst worst Indiana Jones movie, even with Crystal Skull and Dial of Destiny mixed in. <sighs> For all the hate really? that Nuke the Fridge got, Temple of Doom was way more ludicrous. You people don't like Temple of Doom? I like Temple of Doom. I like I Temple like of Doom. Doom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like Temple of Doom. Those yeah. first three, I don't have I'd say a, Crystal yeah. Skull is the least. Yeah. I don't have a problem with those first three. Mm-hmm. I don't either. There you yeah. go. Okay. Uh, the Butterfly Effect was the movie <laughs> that we watched mm-hmm. the week before. Yes. Uh, Dave Forbes says, that baby choking itself <laughs> is epic. There's been a long discussion <laughs> yeah. we've had yes. about the alternate if May depending on how forever. you saw that movie <laughs> it has one of two the theatrical version is different than yeah. the the video one uh andrew carlson writes in oh because this is um because we had watched two eric stoltz movies in yes. a row uh, we watched the, uh, right. the prophecy and the butterfly effect yeah. and he says uh you need to watch sleep with me next possibly the greatest bit of quentin tarantino dialogue ever and the absolute best breakdown of top gun at the same time, Quentin Tarant- Tarantino actually stars in that movie. Oh, wow. And ha- he's in at a party, and there's a whole scene where he goes off on explaining how Top Gun is basically a, a giant gay metaphor. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I've heard, and it's okay, probably yes. it, it exists by itself. I remember YouTube. this. Yes. Uh, uh, Mark I've Harris. Never heard of this. No, uh, it was like yeah. one in the nineties. There were these indie movies. <laughs> Everybody was in them. Yeah. Uh, Mark Harrison says, "I remember the butterfly effect existing, but maybe I blacked out and prevented myself from watching it." <laughs> He's like, "I remember it was there." Yeah, but he actually had a butterfly effect. He went back in time and erased the fact that he had ever seen it. Bravo! There you go. That's, Congratulations! Uh, I, think to you, I think that's how you do it. <laughs> I think that's what they were trying to do the whole time, and he pulled it off. He just pulled for it one off. Thing, but. Uh, okay, well, thank you, each of you, very much, uh, sincerely, for writing in. Uh, we we do, appreciate it. Yes, we do love you. We do appreciate it. Um, b- before we get to reviews, I want I want to share one thing, um, because we are usually a horror movie podcast, and that's, uh, I had a horror movie moment today that yeah. I never thought I would have. I had a cat scare. Oh, today. your cat scared you? Cat, sca- <laughs> cat scared the shit out of me. Hell yeah. I was doing laundry and moving some stuff around today opened some drawers uh-huh. uh, and, and left them open because I went to the other way. And then I, I came back and I shut them and everything. 15 minutes later, I'm folding socks, going to put them in a drawer, yank one open, fucking cat's oh right there. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, scared the shit out of me. And so I want to just let you all know, it happens it in happens. real life. <laughs> because I would... D- <laughs> Jumped, cat, okay, but jumped, did your cat go like, ah! rare or when she jumped out? No, no, okay. no, just look at me going, why'd you lock me yeah. in here? Oh, but your the cat asshole. didn't jump. It just no. sat there. Okay. Yeah. No, but I pulled it out and it's just this. Oh. You see this living thing in there yeah. looking the at shit you. out of me. I'm like, why? You're how gonna, did this even happen? I mean, imagine now every cat scare that you see in a movie. You're going to be I like, to, I lived I have, it. I, I have to give it, it legitimacy because yeah. I'm like, I went through You're going to be like, I'm not going to fault this. Right, no, I can't yell at it. It's possible to happen. Some version of it. I just wanted to share that. It does happen in real life. Horror movies are real. Look out, everyone. Well, thank you very much, Sean. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Final Destination 2, starting with... Uh, There can only be one. It's Colin. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) I'm choosing you. Uh, (laughs) Go for it. um, Torn, right, is my opinion on this movie. It is horribly written. Like Lightly and (laughs) Yeah. It just has... um, I think it it really was. It was there was so much reliance on the first movie that that kind of killed it for me. Um, the characters and just the dialogue that they had. It's like it's there's two movies here, right? 
And I guess that I in you know I'm like, well, how do you recommend it to someone or not? You see, there's you, you can almost split it like all the dialogue scenes are exposition dumps to explain what's happening, mm. but then there's a spectacular freeway uh, collision, you know, chain reaction death machine that happens at the beginning of this movie, which will go down or already has in uh, yes. popular culture mm -hmm. and Hollywood. This is the defining, uh, you know, stay off the highway scene. Mm -hmm. And then there's all the death scenes, you know, which are spectacular. Mm -hmm. I would say each, all of them are spectacular. Yeah, they're pretty you great. Know? Uh, I cannot tell you, I guess, because I suppose both of you are probably uh, more experts on the Final Destination series than I am. So at some point, I'm not sure which mm -hmm. horrible death scene <laughs> comes from which movie. Yes. I do remember obviously liking the first one mm -hmm. a great deal. Mm -hmm. And I liked the fifth one mm -hmm. because it was the first time I thought that something it was being done to the formula that kind of made it, you know. And the special effects are really good. And they're really the good. One, so and it, in that. 3D, it was also yeah. impressive. Yeah, it has um, some good misdirects too, I think. There's a couple. Because you know how like this movie does the, like, the fake out in the dentist's yeah. office? The fifth one has a lot of those. So it's it always good really to have well. a misdirect. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do them in these, mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. That, I, I mean, now that I'm, I'm putting them in that mm -hmm. kind of context, maybe this is one of my least favorite Final Destinations, mm -hmm. at least from the... Um, from the narrative, from the, the scripting, you really it. don't like the uh, the attachment to the first one in this. That movie. and yeah. and the premonition that keeps on going, yeah, yeah. which is borrowed mm -hmm. from another movie. That okay, <laughs> so uh, but it just yeah, I, I didn't like that. But I guess would you recommend the movie? This okay, so it is one I think is uh, one of the commenters said you you're not going for the script you're going because it is a murder machine right of happenstance and how does it happen and in that case it's like well I just said I think they're spectacular um, so I guess yeah I'm gonna recommend that you watch Final Destination if you like Final Destination you should see Final Destination too obviously it's gonna have more of a, 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 um, an interest for you because of all the connections so yeah i'd say there you go. yes sean what'd you think i'll make an argument that after a certain point you are going to this movie for the script but it's to laugh because yeah, you know it's gonna be ridiculous because i think this this movie could get into you, you try and, and 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 put your frame of mind into the movies that are older that we watch down here, where you look at kind of the dialogue and how characters interact with each other, and you laugh just because it's the ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. of That's it. a good point. But you like it because mm -hmm. it's just. I think this movie is that mm. perfectly. Mm -hmm. I just don't think we've gotten far enough away from it. Makes sense. But I think you can because these characters are so ridiculous in the way they talk to each other mm -hmm. and uh, how they interact, not as human beings, mm -hmm. but uh, but as people in a movie trying to. Uh, trying to specifically get towards uh, an ending or a certain mm -hmm. event. And I think if you watch it that way, hilarious. <laughs> these people are right. great. And if you watch it that way and then you look at the spectacular death scenes in this, right, I th uh, uh, right up there. Mm. Um, it is... Uh, it had definitely more of an effect. I, you, I saw it when I was younger uh, in a theater. That opening scene has that effect that it has on everyone. It scarred, like we said, mm -hmm. everybody. Um, but I, I think the death scenes are still really good. Um, again, the scripting is I just, there's certain moments that I'm just like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Especially when we get more towards the end. But there's enough there to, to be entertained by it. I think that it's all there. Mm -hmm. Um, good, you know, some good, some bad, but yeah, still, I think highly entertaining. Um, yeah, I recommend final destination too. It's, mm -hmm. it's still up there. The first one I think is a, I'll call it a, a classic for me. I mm -hmm. think that one just really hit at a time, uh, where it's, uh, I just really love that first one. This one's, I think, really good for a lot of different reasons, but still, I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Mm -hmm. I recommend Final Destination 2. Michaela, 
What did you think? Uh, I mean, I love this franchise. I I, I kind of wish there was you like five more. Them. Yeah, you I must. wish I wish there was like five more. Like, uh, why I did we ever? Getting there, why did we ever stop making these? Because it, they don't seem. Are they expensive to make? They don't. I mean, there's no star power here, right? right? So like, the money must go to the special effects. But like, right. the special effects aren't even that good. So it's like, I, how much do these really cost to make? Why are we not still making them? Like, there's what like ten Saw movies, but only like five Final Destinations. Right? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> um, I I. Yeah, you don't. I agree, Sean. I think you bring up a good point about like you go because you know the script is going to be absurd on top of the insane kills. It definitely got to that point, especially yes. I think the fifth movie has some real weird script stuff like that too, and some really despicable characters in that fifth one. But um, the, I I was trying to think while you guys were doing your review, like how would I rank these? And it's hard to rank them because like the first one to me is almost separate, right? Yeah. Like because it's just a different it wasn't setting Almost out because the rest of them are all reacting off of that yeah thing. and like the first one wasn't setting out to be like this ridiculous rube goldberg thing right. the way their sequels are but i mean the first one's obviously the best quality movie of them all and it's like um but i think that after that it would probably be like three and then five and then probably two and then four which like that sounds like i really don't like two but it's it's I like them all except watch, four. Right, I think you really, have to watch all of them to understand. Yeah, that and be like, yeah, and be good with it. Yeah, right. But like, I like them all, and I like them for different reasons. Mostly, if four is just like feels really out of step with the rest of them, um, especially because it was supposed to be the final destination. <laughs> right. Um, but it still has its good qualities, though. Um, and yeah, no, this one, it's. I do agree, Colin. I don't like how much it gloms onto the original, and is like these movies get a lot better when they just are unrelated yeah um and i'm glad that they picked that up so quickly into this franchise um but it's it's really i do wonder if their lack of sustainability is because they don't have any star power like i wonder if star power we would have 10 of them you know it doesn't have star power if they end up feeling more like direct to video yeah stuff, exactly just like we couldn't get anybody big so they feel like, cheap even though they're not right. yeah mm -hmm. exactly so they need to find a way to avoid that cheapness um but it would be cool can you imagine if we just like rotated out like horror directors and everyone got their chance to do a final destination wouldn't that be cool you know if you like I, you know, will, I will say watching this tonight I, it has reinvigorated my curiosity towards this right. franchise i think i might actually watch the two that i have not watched <laughs> yeah <laughs> the you fourth, should fourth, i would be curious I, what I'm, you think I'm, yeah I'm in for it now didn't the third one the guys who made the first one like came back and wrote it i think so yeah some, there's some connection yeah. yeah between the first yeah. and third if not the same no not the same director mm -hmm. Was Maybe it? the same was director. It, it might Glenn be the same director. Morgan came back. I know that I think they I at least wrote it. it. Go listen to our episode. It is yeah. Yeah. incestuous, I yeah. think, as it goes forward. Yeah, it's just, but could you imagine if, like, Zach Kreger did his final destination? Right. If the, the It Follows guy did his final, all the, like, the ooh, hot, the creepier, yeah, ooh, all the, the hot directors right yeah. now got a chance to, or even if, like, they did an anthology series and they all got to do a segment in a final And you could still connect them all. Yeah. Which would be in line with the series. Exactly. Uh, there's potential. There's lots of untapped potential here, and that's what's frustrating. But um, <laughs> I would definitely recommend it. It's, it's like, it is kind of like, a, it was a cultural moment of a movie, so yes. it's always fun to participate in those. So I would definitely recommend it. I know this franchise gets a lot of hate, but I think a lot of it is undeserved because, like, there's nothing offensive about these movies. Movies, I don't think. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. I think it's a good time. Freak show go. approved. That means it's freak yeah. show approved. All right. All right. That means contractually, by listening yeah. to the show, you, you have to watch it. Like the rest of us, watch that opening scene. <laughs> You're right, though. I think uh, there is this thing. Um, the more distance you have from a movie, it becomes easier to recommend, you know, and and identify mm -hmm. when a movie right. is being uh, over the top bad movie but it's right. a good bad movie right and, and you you're right cultural it, it, context of a, yeah. of a specific time it's right. harder to do that can, with newer yes. stuff you hold them to a higher state because yes. you like you recognize the time right. that they're you know in but yeah, yeah you're right man yeah um okay so next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by colin i almost forgot there for a second colin <laughs> what are we watching next week well there's a lot of exorcism movies Ooh. uh in the believer, zeitgeist right now. now and uh i um, maybe not well no what we <laughs> want to do right uh i mean if, if you're doing exorcism movies you want to you want to see how dc comics did an exorcism movie and that means we're doing <laughs> constantine oh okay all right all right 
next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. I haven't watched this in a while. I thought I mean, you were going to say Abby, that one. I know. Yeah, well, I thought that's where you were you going. You can track that down, but yeah. it is not available uh, to okay. anybody. But gotcha. I have seen it. Constantine. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, Constantine all right. with Keanu Reeves next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>